I just came home from work and we just got a call from the DMV about an issue with our brand new Alaskan uh, license plate. So we are going to head over there and get that taken care of. We have a few stops on the way. Yeah, so we thought um, along the way we'd show you some of the scenery as well as some of the stuff that the town has to offer and why we chose to stay. We thought you'd like to know and we'll show you. We went to the DMV yesterday, thought all this was taken care of, and now we got to go back, but that's okay. So we're going to show you around town. Yep, let's get this taken care of. Ring around here means mud season in potholes. <laughs> All right, so yeah, spring is here, which means lots of mud and the roads are um, have lots of potholes in them. Now, where we live and mainly in Alaska, we're off some back roads. So they're maintained by the borough, but um, they're, they haven't come out yet. So they'll come out a couple times, maybe once a month and, and break the ground and smooth out the roads. But that's one of the part, that's one of the uh, fun things about living in Alaska is that there's lots of potholes. But um, if you're on a maintained road, they do come out and grate them. Okay, some of the more popular restaurants are right here where Soldotna city limits begin. So there's not that many um, fast food restaurants here. We have the McDonald's and Arby's. Um, and there's um, Taco a Bell. Taco Bell, yeah. <laughs> um, and there's lots of pizza places. Um, but these are the more popular, uh, nice sit-in restaurants. In our opinion, the food here in Alaska in general is not as good than what we're used to in the lower 48. And it's also really expensive. But if you're looking for good food, these are the places to go. Yeah, so we have Addy Camp. And there's a little Mexican restaurant right across the street on the highway that's called Acupoco. It's a... Uh, Really nice Mexican restaurant. Now, we're not gonna show you all the restaurants around here. We're just showing you some of the ones that, that we've got a lot of good reviews from from people. And uh, yeah, the ones that we like. So. Yeah, the ones that we like and that we've been to. That's also a decent restaurant too. A lot of people go to there. St. Elias. There's a Fred Myers. We took y'all there in one of our videos. The street here. Oh. Yum. Yum. All right, so we just drove through the first part of our main road here in Soldotna, and it's really nice living close to a small town that has um, some nice conveniences, but also has the um, world-class fishing and the beautiful scenery and the nice parks, um, especially when you have a young family. So this is a park that we come to a lot here in Soldotna, and there is a lot of easy access to fishing here. They have made it very easy to access the river, the Kenai River, that runs right through Soldotna. As you can see, they have a huge system of stairs here and ramps that actually go down into the river. Right now they're all up because it's still a uh, breakup and not all the ice has melted, but it is happening fast out here. Do you see that big airplane? Oh. Yeah, you see the big airplane? So spring and summer and fall here are absolutely wonderful. Um, there's so much to do around here besides fishing. Um, at this park, they have lots of festivals. They have uh, farmer's markets. There's live entertainment. They have a big stage um, behind us. That have, They have bands. There's food trucks. There's all kinds of stuff going on. Um, in the uh, spring, summer, and fall. So we really enjoy it. A lot of young families live here. Um, so um, they make it really nice and convenient. So according to a lot of people that live here, from people I've talked to anyways, breakup is one of the most undesirable times of year for Alaska. I seem to kind of enjoy it. There's like a little bit of excitement for the new spring, the new summer that's coming. So yeah, it signals spring is coming. So we get excited about it. We're gonna stop at the McDonald's um, that's here. Um, like I said earlier, there's a, not a lot of fast food places. Um, there's a lot of pizza places. There's a lot of um, a lot of pizza places such as uh, Papa John's, Domino's, um, Pizza Hut. There's a lot of little Murphy's, um, Papa Murphy's, right? Papa Murphy's, yeah. And then there's a lot of little um, independent pizza places. So if you want pizza, this is the place to come for sure. And then they do have sub shops like Subway. I guess it's another um, major uh, fast food restaurant. 
um, but there's really not a lot to eat around here so we do we really do miss the food um, but it's helped us not spend a lot of money and eat at home um, so yeah and enjoy all the fish we catch so we just drove by the mall and um, this mall has mainly boutique stores um, one thing about Soldatna is there's not any name brand uh, clothing store. So in this mall here, they have a warehouse called Sportsman's and it's just like a fishing warehouse and a hunting warehouse. And so they got a lot of fishing and sporting goods. Um, definitely a really nice place to go if you're ever in the area and you need your fishing gear. And it's uh, very popular in the summer. A lot of people will come here. There are a lot of different uh, fishing uh, little nooks around here, places that you can go shop for fishing gear. Um, but I seem to like sportsmen's a lot. Uh, I've always been treated with respect and kindness there. So in the same mall area, there's also the Safeway. So we're at Safeway and we stopped here because there is there's a contest going on and it's called the Nanana Ice Classic. And what they do is they put um, a tripod out on the river and they wait for the ice to melt and then it goes down a little bit. And so you have to guess the exact day and time down to the minute when this tripod is going to move. So we thought we would go ahead and enter the contest. Um, it's statewide throughout Alaska, and I believe there's like a $200,000 plus jackpot. So why not, right? So we're gonna go put in our guesses. It's $3 a ticket, so hey, why not? So we're gonna go run into Safeway real quick and do that. Yeah, just a little fun guessing game. Friday. Well, that was easy. So last year's jackpot was $222,000. That's that's significant right there. So they're $3 a pop and I bought 10 of them. So we get 10 chances. I was talking to the lady in the story and I asked her, so what do people typically buy? And she goes, well, anywhere from one ticket to 300 tickets. Oh my so, gosh. 300 tickets? Yeah, so there's a lot of people who come and, and buy this. We're, we're just gonna take 10 and we're gonna throw in our gas for fun. It's Yeah. Okay. Are you to put it on all of these? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I'll just put my name on it. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I can't forget about the DQ. Right. Isn't that what we like about Texas? Texas, that like, was, it's, it's like about Alaska. <laughs> I know, right? That was the old commercial, DQ, that's what I like about Texas. <laughs> yeah. Who was the guy who sang that? I have no idea. He's a good boy. This area here is uh, the bridge that crosses over from the K Beach area um, in Solana to Kenai, the city of Kenai. It's definitely beautiful in this area. There's the Home Depot, which we've been to a couple times. All right. And this is the Walmart, which is located in Kenai. Which honestly, if you're gonna go somewhere to try to save some money, this is the place to go if you're buying stuff here in the Kenai Peninsula Borough. What's nice is that the Walmart and the Home Depot and the Three Bears are only um, 20 minutes from Soldatna. So it's it's really convenient if you don't mind driving a little further and you can save, save some money. So also in Kenai, which is really nice, is the airport. So we showed you the airport a couple of videos ago when Blake's mom and dad visited. And it's really nice having a small airport in this area so you don't have to drive all the way to Anchorage. And it's really reasonable to fly in here and out. Yeah, it's not really cheap, $150 a flight, but mainly since you're only flying about 30 minutes from the Kenai area to uh, Anchorage. But it's a whole lot better than if you are having a uh, an emergency or you uh, need to get out of town real quick. Look at him shopping. Are you shopping? Yeah. Yeah. Just a few things we needed, huh? Yeah. I don't know if any of you like cracklins, but I'm going to give these new ones a try. I haven't seen before. They're golden cracklins. Road trip snacks. They got a donut for their little Walmart snack and I'm getting cracklins, so. My sister got milk. 
He just did diaper changes. So, woo, traveling with a toddler and a newborn. <laughs> yeah, diaper changes at Wally World. How's your donut? Very good. Harrison just finished his, and I had mine, and sister had milk, and now she's got the hiccup. So we're trying to get rid of those before we get back on the road. Yeah, you definitely don't want to drive with hiccups. All right, let's go see more of the town. Thank you for visiting Kenai. So in comparison to um, Soldatna, Kenai is much bigger, um, definitely more stores and restaurants, and it's also a lot cheaper to live. Um, than Soldatna. So a lot of people choose um, Kenai over Soldatna, especially since they're only about 20 minutes um, from each other. It's just uh, overall uh, more families live um, in Kenai. Soldatna is a lot more expensive. It's mainly because of the access to the river over there. Though whenever you go dip netting, you actually have to come into Kenai because the end of the river is in Kenai. Yeah, the nicer part of the, ri the river is in Soldatna, I feel like. Yeah, especially for the fishing and stuff like that. Yeah. And honestly, I mean, uh, whenever we first came here, we, as far as fishing goes, whenever we first came here, I thought that that was like one of the only areas to go fishing, and it's actually not. Another benefit of living in this area, in the Kenai Peninsula Borough, is the other main river where the fish come up is in Kasilov. And so Kasilov River flows up as well, and they actually spawn the red fish, the red uh, salmon earlier. And so just a little bit, by like a week or so. And Kasilov is only 30 minutes from, from Soldatna. So we're very central um, to everything. And three hours from Anchorage, I mean, and then we're only about an hour from Cooper Landing, which is another touristy uh, fishing area. So we're really, really centrally located, I feel. Yeah, one thing that's big here is there are a lot of coffee shops here. All right, so this is the only hospital in this area. Um, one thing about Alaska that could possibly be a negative for somebody who's trying to move here is the fact that there aren't very many hospitals here. And when it comes down to hospitals, this particular hospital here has a lot of services that they offer. But there are some services that aren't offered at hospitals like these because they're so rural uh, being in Alaska. And so when it comes down to it, a lot of times they'll have to fly people out from over here and they'll fly them all the way to uh, Anchorage or in some cases they'll even fly them all the way to Seattle. So for certain emergency services, um, like heart attacks and uh, strokes and stuff like that, well, they'll fly out. And two, Blakely was born at 36 weeks. If she was born any sooner, they would have automatically uh, flew her out to Anchorage without us. So um, if you live in the, if you live in Alaska, you have to be relatively healthy. Um, there are a few urgent care um, centers in town and around the peninsula. But if you have an emergency, they are more than likely gonna fly to Anchorage or Seattle, like Blake said. So when Blake and I first got here, um, when he was on contract, um, we thought we were only staying for three months. That's it. So Harrison at the time was only seven months old. And so, and I was just taking care of him. I wasn't working. So we went out and tried to find stuff to do. And the first place that we went is the library and it was great resource um they had uh bouncing babies where they read and they sang songs but um there's also quite a few young families i was so surprised how many young families are in this area which is another reason why we wanted to stay um to grow our young family but one thing that's interesting about alaska is that we don't have mailboxes like you would have in the lower 48 or like I'd have in Texas. So whenever it comes to like ordering stuff off of Amazon and stuff like that, they don't ship that to your house. You actually get that shipped to a PO box. So uh, you have to have a PO box in order to receive the Amazon product. It is crazy around the holidays, crazy. So you have to really plan ahead. Also, just because you have prime shipping with Amazon, does not mean you're gonna get it in two days. It's more like two weeks. <laughs> so you definitely have to plan and around the holidays especially, two weeks could be a month. Just stuff to kind of kind of note, it's really not a big deal for us, but it's just stuff that we thought was interesting when we moved here. 
so we just uh, pulled into the visitor center and uh, it's a really nice visitor center. They make it super easy uh, for visitors and tourists and residents to um, get down to the river and fish. So this is another good spot that we like to come to um, to go fishing. Um, it's just super easy and um, parking is, you know, there's lots of parking. So um, yeah, just another place we like to fish. Yeah, when it comes down to people visiting this area, this is uh, one of the main places that they come to go fishing. The way the bankman is and the fish coming up the river um, come real close to this side. But yeah, whenever we first came here, this was one of the spots that we caught most of our fish. Yeah, and then there's also a tackle shop across the street. So, I mean, it's really easy. Get your tackle, come across the street, and go down to the river. One of the benefits of, of moving to the Kenai Peninsula is the fact that there are so many different kids programs here too. Here, for example, we're at the Kenai Wildlife Natu National Refuge and they have a lot of kids programs there. And they also have camping. There's trails for you to walk with your family and your dog. Um, like he said, there's a lot of, of programs that go on to learn about wildlife and you know becoming a ranger for a little kid. So it's just really nice. Um, there's also, you can also, I think, hunt out here too. Um, so it, it's it's a nice area. It's like millions of acres that are protected. So it's it's a really, really nice area. There's basically two huge reasons why we moved to Alaska what? and specifically to the Kenai uh, Peninsula area. And one of them is going to be there's a whole lot of stuff to do here in Alaska. There's just, uh, I mean, tons of different types of sports, the hunting and fishing type of sports. And... Um, there is also the other biggest reason is for the fact that in Alaska, just like Texas, the school system allows for homeschooling freedom, basically. That Alaska doesn't require a whole lot when it comes to homeschooling. It allows you to have the freedom to teach your children the way you want to teach them. And that is a big thing for us. That's, that's very important to us, very important to us. And there's also quite a bit of job opportunities here, um, you know, between medical field and, and the oil field. Um, there's, there's all kind of opportunities here for um, food services. Um, there's a lot, a lot of coffee shops as we were driving, we, we pointed out some of those. Yeah, and then tourism obviously is a, is a big one. Most of the people just work the summer months and then they either go down to lower 48 and enjoy their winter or they just don't work during the winter. A lot of stuff is shut down here or they have winter hours. Um, so a lot of people make good money during the summer. But with that, the rent here is super expensive. Airbnbs and then just your everyday rentals like apartments, very expensive to rent here. Um, and real estate is very expensive here as well. Um, it was a sticker shock to us um, when we were looking for something to buy um, compared to Texas, obviously. Texas is a lot cheaper, obviously. But Alaska, you, um, we were definitely sticker shocked, weren't we? Yeah, definitely. And I mean, like, just to show you how, just to tell you how much it, how important it is for me to be able to teach our children the way that we want to teach them. I mean, if they were to change the system to force us into the public school system, we would leave. I mean, we would definitely leave. I would not stay here. I would sell everything and get out of here because to me, your children are, are one of the most important accomplishments that you can possibly have. And so that's why... For me, a lot of it is about them. It's about setting them up for a yeah. successful future. And that's why there are so many young families here. We have talked to several, and that is the main reason. They want the freedom to the freedom to teach their kids and to homeschool, and they want to be able to live a simpler life. All right, well, we better head off to the DMV before they close. Okay, just a minute. So here's a local theater too, a small town. It's a double cinema, it looks like, huh? Yeah, Ghostbusters and Godzilla. All right, so we got everything taken care of. We got the new license plate and uh, got the paper signed. So at least they were able to fix that mistake. So what, what had happened was they had accidentally assigned the wrong license plate 
and the wrong uh, tag. So every two years here in Alaska, you have to get a renewed tag, a registration tag. Now, back in Texas, it was every single year you had to do that. But here in Alaska, you can do it every two years. And on top of that, they also have one for vehicles that are over eight years old. You can get a Z tag and it's a one time tag. And that's it. You have it for the rest of the life of that vehicle. And I really, really like that. So we ended up getting actually a Z tag. Um, it was only $30 more and I never have to go do it again. Otherwise it's going to be over a hundred dollars every time you go every two years that you have to go get a tag. So I'm glad that she, uh, was able to fix that mistake and, uh, get our tag. And I don't have to go back in for any more registration from now on. So, um, yeah, that was a perfect, uh, awesome. perfect end to that result. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was a perfect end to that. So, uh, we are headed home now. So we hope you enjoyed coming along with us and seeing um, the area where we live. Uh, we really like it here and um, hope you do too. Yep. Thanks again. See you next time on Good Living Alaska. Bye. Who's the daddy's baby, huh? Yeah. You're the daddy's baby.